Hello and welcome to session 5C. In the last course we created a scenario model where we transferred most of the initial assessment to the primary assessor role and updated the drives to reflect this. In this course we will take you through the steps to create a more complex scenario which introduces a new activity and a new role. Open the Excel spreadsheet if you have been working on this to record your changes. Then log into the tool. Find your model from the Modeling tab and click Create Scenario. You can also modify an existing scenario or use the virtual role on activity functionality when creating your scenario in the first place. Do bear in mind that if you model, modify the existing scenario, it will stack the new changes on top of what you have already done and therefore overwrite the summary. We are going to use the virtual activity feature that we mentioned in the last session. This function is particularly useful if you are looking at transferring capacity between roles or looking to introduce a new process within the team. In our example, the project group has agreed to run MDT meetings for high need patients. We are now going to add this activity and assign it to the relevant roles. Click on the Create Virtual Activity button. A wizard will pop up and take you through the process of creating a virtual activity. Select the team to associate the activity to. Select the Medical Centre team. Record the new activity, MDT Meetings PC, Primary Care. It is a variable activity with a count of 200. Next, click on the Add Roles button. Select the role that will be delivering this activity. In this case, both the GP roles. Now we will add the drivers. Enter the driver for the new activity and update the drivers for the existing activities, ensuring that they total 100%. Note here that if there is no activity assigned to a role in the baseline, you are prevented from giving activity at this stage. To overcome this, you would need to create it as a new activity and assign it that way. The new activity will appear in the Activities tab. We will repeat this and MDT meetings for social care. This one will have SC on the end so we can record drivers against the correct activity. Only the social worker will carry out this activity, so we will only select one role here. We will continue with adding drivers as we did so previously. We will repeat this step again for the community mental health team, naming it CMH, and this time select both roles. Again, update the drivers and ensure they equal 100%. View the new activities by scrolling down the activity tab. We 
We are also going to make changes to Workforce and add a new role, which is Care Navigator. Click on the Roles tab. You should be able to see the Virtual Role button in the action bar. The Virtual Role feature allows the user to create a model on a new role that does not exist in the current baseline team or structure. This function is particularly useful if you are looking at increasing capacity or changing skill mix in your team. Whether that is via a completely new role, for example apprentice, physician, associate, etc or by introducing a new type of role into a team, for example, a therapist into an acute ward. Click on the Create Virtual Role button and you will now be directed to a virtual role wizard. Select the team that you want to place your new role in. This can also be within a virtual team that you have created, but we will not be covering that in today's session. We are going to select Rapt Medical Centre. The virtual role must be assigned to a team and certain roles Specific information must be completed to ensure it is aligned to a team properly. For example, salary value will be used to calculate any projected outputs from your scenario. The new virtual role will automatically be placed as one whole time equivalent. If the role is to be less than one whole time equivalent, you can either change it in the roles tab once added, or your activity will need to be adjusted in the wizard at step two. Now assign activities to the role. You can assign either an existing activity to the role or you can create a new activity altogether or a combination of both. Existing activities are those that, you have, that have already been linked to the team that you are associating your new role with. You can select these from the drop down menu. Once selected, the tool will auto calculate the summary of the count and activity per dedicated whole time equivalent. The efficiency for the role. We are going to select the existing activities, initial assessment and other. We will also select the virtual activity we have just created, MGT meeting for BC. We are selecting the activity linked to the primary care team as the care navigator will be based in this team. When it comes to assigning a virtual activity to the new role, the tool will ask you to choose a representative role so it can use a similar efficiency calculation and apply this to the new role. Since the activity and role did not exist in the baseline model, now add drivers for the virtual role. We are going to assign 40% to initial assessment and 20% to other and 40% to MGT meetings PC. Ensure the drivers add up to 100%. The new role will appear in the Roles tab within the Wrapped Medical Centre team and will be labelled as Virtual. You will be able to adjust this as with any other role. In this scenario, we are not making any changes to efficiency. Click on the Summary to view the outcome. In the Summary tab, the new role will be marked as Virtual and will have no baseline values. You can also click on download scenario button to view the Excel version of the outcome. 